Hello, my wonderful students. My name is Miss Diana Dababne, and I will be teaching you guys English for this year. I am a grade 4A homeroom teacher. Let us start talking about what we are going to be covering up for this year. I promise English is going to be a very, very, very fun, fun subject that we will be taking for this year. Let us start with what we will be covering up the following skills in English. We will be covering up our writing skills. We will be covering reading skills, our viewing and presenting, and for sure, our listening and our speaking skills. Let us start with the first skill, what we will be covering for writing. We will be learning how to write different types of texts, such as narrative, descriptive, informational, and poetry. We will for sure as well conduct different projects during class, and we will be able to write different types of writing styles. Okay, let us go with our reading skills. We will be reading novels, and we will be using what we learned during our English lesson to show our understanding of the text. We will have different comprehension, uh, uh, comprehension stories that we are going to be taking, some comprehensions that are going to be unseen. We will as well be applying phonics and word skills in decoding words. Let us start with what we will be, we, what we will be taking for viewing and presenting. We will be identifying factors that influence personal reactions to visual text. We will as well be viewing and critically analyzing a range of different types of texts. We will be communicating, understanding them through our written and visual media. And for sure, we are going to be showing how body language, for example, such as facial expression, can influence the meaning. So for example, we will, we will be working on our body languages when we have our presentations, when we will be doing different types of presentations during our English class. Let us go to our listening and our speaking. Okay, we will be reviewing the key, the key ideas expressed and draw a conclusion. We are going, yeah, grade 4A, we are going to be doing different types of listening assessments. We are going to be tested on or focused on how we can listen to different types of assessments and comprehending what we will be learning. So let's go back to what we're going to be covering up. We will be reviewing the key ideas, express and draw on conclusion, considering information and knowledge gained from discussions. We will be summarizing the points, uh, the points a speaker makes and explains how each claim is supported by reasons and evidence. Grade 4A, we will be covering up the most important skills as we just talked about right now. In grade 4A as well, we are going to be having two English volume books. We are going to be, we're going to have an English volume one and an English volume two book. We are also going to integrate it with our grammar booklet and with our writing booklet. We are also going to have our two copy books, which is going to be a creative writing copy book. And we're going to have a spelling uh, slash vocabulary homework copy books, which we are going to be having in daily basis. One, one week, we're going to have a spelling quiz. Another week, we're going to have a vocabulary quiz. We are going to focus on how to write the words and the meaning of the word and how we can use a word in sentences. We are also going to make sure that when we go to our writing skills, we are able to use the words that we learned in our writing skills. So this for sure, for English, we are also going to be going to the library once per two weeks. So the first thing what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that we are going to have a, a, a appropriate a, a, a appropriate reading book that we can read for our ages. And at the same time, we are going to make sure that we focus on our reading skills. We need to make sure that we read, uh, read daily basis at least one book per week, no, per day, I'm sorry. Okay, we are also going to make sure that we strengthen our viewing and presenting skills. And for sure, as we said, the most important skill that we're going to be focusing on is our, uh, our listening and our speaking skills. Okay, I am hoping we're going to have an amazing great year, especially in English. We're going to have, we're going to learn a lot of skills and we're going to become more knowledgeable and more great thinkers. And thank you for listening to my video.